hey, hey, hi, hey, hi, hi. Uh, how's it going? Met more farms here. Still enjoying my vacation. Nice sunny day. You can see the blue sky up there. Um, I am going to be checking out a store today. It's called Doc's Hobby Shop here in Ontario, Sudbury. Uh, it's, apparently, it's the only R RC store here. So, I am just going to go check that out today. I got my drone inside the camper, right where that window is. Well, on the other side. So, yeah, I'll show you guys a little view of where stand. There's my truck over there. There's the highway right there. Went fishing yesterday. Uh, I had two on the line and I lost about, I don't know, a dozen uh, jigs and leads so uh, I am going to be going to Canadian Tire picking up some more jigs and whatnot and some other stuff and we're going fishing again tomorrow today I am going to be going and checking out that hobby store and some other places to see what's going on here explore just explore a little bit so, ooh, sun's bright over there. I can see my face. Good. There's still repping that here in Ontario. Toppers everywhere. Jumping around everywhere. I don't know if you can see it out on camera, but. It's a nice little place. Hold on, guys. I want to see if I can clean my camera lens. It's a little, it looks a little fuzzy. Yeah, see that? Is that any better? Oh yeah, much better. So yeah, no one's here. The wife and the kids and her sister and her kid uh, went to town to get some stuff for to build necklaces and bracelets and dream catchers. The store is called Eye Beads. So I want to get me something to do in the meantime while they're doing that. But, yeah, I'm just walking around here. There's a nice view. So, I'm just going to finish my coffee here, and I'm going to go into town, which is that way, and the highway over there behind me. And I'm going to go check the stores out, Doc's Hobby Shop, or RC Shop or something. The only one here. Maybe I'll open one up here. Who knows? I am missing my lawn tractors, though. My little... Something to do, at least. But now I'm... Gonna get... Something else going here. I am gonna do a video on my drone. The opening of it. And... I gotta synchronize it. To do the gyro moves and... The hover. Or the altitude hold or something never had one before so it's new for me but i am gonna go check out some places and i'll catch you guys here in a little bit hey again uh, i'm just getting the drone i'll show you guys it it's hiding I got the drone. Hold on here. Okay, I got the drone. Right there. It's a PA1005. We all need to see better. Anybody want some pie? This is the drone. And this is what a video there's the altitude hold, the gyro. Cameras, videos, 300 feet range. The one I did want was this black one. Whoa. But they only had a white one that was left. Skill level, beginner to intermediate. Well, I'm a beginner, so 
Tells you all the things here. All that. Oh. So I'm gonna try this one out. Never opened it yet. Still sealed. Oh, maybe not. But um. Oh yeah, no. I opened it to see what was all in, but I didn't take it out of the package. I just opened this here. There's a charger, phone holder. I already did download the app. That's why I opened it. I got the app for it. There's a battery for it. The big white block. So got some extra blades in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably later. I'll uh God damn mosquitoes. Open it more and then I will get it out of the box. Show you guys it and everything. So that's the drone there. Like I said, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, not too expensive. I only paid 50 bucks. That's all I paid for it, so. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. So, anyways, I haven't gone to town yet. I've been sitting and made a coffee and I forgot to turn the light off too as well. Grab my coffee. <laughs> Open door. Come back. Yeah, I don't feel like showing you guys me coming out of the trailer. So, so anyways, like I said, I haven't gone to town yet. I uh, been sitting, contemplating life. No, I'm just kidding. Just been sitting and trying to think of what to do. To get a new motor for one of my Revos, it's kind of a little pricey. But in Ed or my hometown in Edmonton, Alberta, uh, that I can get a whole Revo, everything for two fifty. For a new motor, three nineteen here. So that being said, I'm not gonna go to the hobby shop because I'll end up probably buying it and then no. Uh, I can get one a whole Revo for like I said 250 or 200 bucks he's asking 250 for the whole thing but I can give him 200 bucks and uh, call it good so anyways I am going to uh, drink my coffee right there no not that coffee not coffee and uh, I'll get you guys back I'll get you bleh. Get back to you guys when I come back from Canadian Tire with all my new fishing stuff. Uh, I gotta put new line on the kids rod, both of them. And because uh, I used Denise's, my daughter's rod, put a new jig on and everything. Cast it out once, boom, got one. Got to the shore, snapped the line. Because it's only like a two pound test line they come with, so. I'm gonna put like six or eight pound test line on hers and this way she can you know keep a fish on for that being said I'm gonna stop this video here and I'm gonna hit the town in about five ten minutes hey I'm back finally went to town oh I went to Canadian Tire uh, I spent way too much on fishing stuff Way too much than I intended to, but I'll show you guys what I got. I'll show some, not all. I had enough. Hold on. I'm back. I look so far away. The entire. Big receipt. Bigger than I anticipated. Means what she said. Anyways, so, grab me 
bag of beer. Flip you around. Boom. Thank you. So, I got some six pound for the kids' rods. I got two of them somewhere, and there's the other one. Two of them for the kids. A bunch of jigs, more leads, more heads. Yeah, more head. More of those. Some of those. More of those. Some pink, some blue. Some more of those. You already seen the fishing line. No. More swivel with the snap thingies. Um, most of it's just jigs. And some nice blue ones. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try them out. Got some big worms. Oh, there you go. Some yum, yum four dinger. Not here seeing the leads. They're seeing that. More leads. More head. They're seeing that. More leads. Some nice purple, yellow ones. I don't know. They seem because this is what I used on Denise's rod last night. One of these with a pink head. Like one of these with pink but didn't have the spinner on there. And yeah. So, that being said, I got some more different ones. I don't know why I grabbed two, but some black and yellow. And yeah. Anyways, that's that. Let me know what you think I spent right there. Just on the fishing stuff. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you, what you think that bag is that bag is worth. But I did pick up something else in the meantime. Right here. It has four wheel independent suspension. I'll just show you. This Light Hawk. I've had one of these before. No, uh, it was a little smaller one. No information about it. No, no frequency interruptions. Uh, so just a Lighthawk Overdrive 4x4 MT. I don't know. Something in the meantime here. Apparently it goes 45 kilometers an hour. 25 miles an hour. 28, sorry, so we can get a top view over here. There you go. Uh, yeah, nothing fancy. I don't care. Like I said, it's just me for past the time to play with the kids because they have their toy ones too, as well. This one's just a little better until we get home. That's pretty big. I mean, it's a one tenth, I think it said on here somewhere. Does not look like a one tenth though if it is. It's like a one twelfth. Uh, I think it's just a one twelfth, to be honest. It's not a one tenth. It's a one twelfth. There's one there. This picture's wrong. Uh, that's right, but it has two shocks in the back. This one shows one. T has two. One has one. Ooh, it's pretty bouncy in there. So I'll open the boxer. I'm gonna give you guys a little quick peek, because then I have to go down to the wife's aunt's and uncle's house to go build some necklaces, beads, and uh, dream catchers. So. I'll do a quick open with you guys. Sorry, it's not the best video, but I'm trying to use one hand here and my nail to cut the tape. Got it. So that's what I'll do. I don't have a tripod or a stick you guys on a tripod. So I'll just maneuver, maneuver, <coughs> that, and that. I mean, the suspension is very soft as it is. Flying balls at me here. The balls just flew at me. I mean, tires are okay, not the best, but you know, for the price, I just wanted something that 
bypass time. Something in here I'm trying to grab. I can't grab it. It's stuck on there. I don't know what it says. I mean, like I said, just gotta cut the zip ties off. Portable drive. So you spin that tire and that one goes. Um, I assume this is where the controller is. Oh, there's an old separate little box. Look how fancy that is. There's the instruction manual, how to charge, page 5. Nickel metal hydrate battery. Please don't return it to any of the store. Yeah, I know. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Just the controller and the charger. Come on. Oops, something fell out. All oh, the wrenches and stuff. I mean, like I said, nothing fancy. Just something to pass the time with. Uh, steering, throttle. No. I guess. A little charger for it. Just a little, little charger. Sorry, I had to sneeze there for a second, but yeah. No extra tire wrench switch. I don't know why I have an extra nice spare switch. Body clips. Yep. So that's that. I am going to finish grabbing a bite and I'm going to put everything back away. Maybe I'll get it out of the box, put the box somewhere and uh, actually let's see what the body looks like underneath. So I've decided I am going to only stick with this channel. I'm not going to do another one. I don't want to go through the headache again of everything. So. My other channel, my family adventure one, I'm not doing it. I was going to do everything on one channel. That's what I come down to. And the body. I mean, like I said, nothing really to it. There is a switch. There's a battery. Everything is like all hidden. Hot. And it just says hot. I mean, it's like it's everything's closed. Push. Oh, there's the battery. I don't know how you go back on like that without pinching any cords. Plug that in in there and bzz, bzz. yeah. Like I said, where's this tag? Always turn off the power switch after playing this. After playing the car, then disconnect the battery. Let's turn it off then unplug it. Why can't I unplug it? So, anyways, I'm going to go finish eating and end this video. And I'll catch you guys when I do the drone one, probably on a separate video. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.